Well, today I'm finally going to get this Fitch Compact Preseria to run. Um, it is a Compact Preseria 20, I mean, two, 2200, sorry. It's a Compact Preseria 22, uh, 2200. And this is a Compact Preseria 5711. So, I'm going to go get my flashlight. Hi, kitty. Hey, baby. I love my kitty. The other one's outside somewhere. Let's see. Oh, there she is. Okay. The problem with this computer, every time when you tried to install Windows 98 on it, it would not boot properly. It would make all these annoying beeping sounds. Well, the reason is the fucking CD drive don't work. It makes so many weird noises. I'm using my lovely compact disc rewritable drive. I tried to put Windows XP on this thing, but it says Windows requires certain processor features that are not available on the processor in this computer. Specifically, Windows requires the following instructions. CPU ID CMP X CH G 8 B setup cannot continue press any key to exit so I'm gonna put Windows Neptune in see if that will do anything what is she bitching about I ignore those sounds it's just my little muffin Mona Lisa Boot from CD. Oh, she's gonna run. She's alive. She's doing her job. Just so everyone knows, this CD burner was from Value Village and it was five bucks and it wouldn't turn on properly when I plug it in. When I plugged it in, the only problem with it was the ribbon cable inside the drive was loose. So I had to manually take it apart with the screwdriver and reattach the ribbon cable. So now it works perfect. Sweet. After when this whole thing is done, unfortunately I'm gonna have to take the CD drive that's in this computer out and put in uh, a CD drive that will work with this computer. Wah. So now, uh, I think I'm gonna have to pull the front plastic frame off this CD drive and attach it to this one. Pull the door off this one and probably put it on this one or find something else. Uh oh. I got a blue screen of death from Windows Neptune. <laughs> That's not good. Well, let's try it again. Oh, control delete don't work. This had a one gig Bigfoot hard drive inside, but um, it wouldn't format properly, so I had to destroy it. Heh <laughs> heh. Let's try again. If the CD drive doesn't work, I'll find a new one. I think it might be dead because it's being, like, it's really loud. Like, it's pretty loud enough, and, yeah. I think it's the processor that caused it to fail. It says it's doing something, like I can see the words on, on the bottom moving. So it's letting me know it's working, but I think that there's something wrong with the screen. I mean, not the screen, um, the drive itself. 
Oh well, I got a whole drawer full of them. Got lots of spares. Sweet. Hmm, that little disc slot over there, like that one CD drive on the top of um, that CA computer where my alarm clock is sitting, has a little slot drive and I think I might take that out. Blue screen. Yep, okay. I can take a hint. Okay, so Windows XP doesn't work. Linux for sure won't work. I won't even try it. I just know it won't work. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. This time we'll try Windows 2000 Service Pack 4. If not, then we'll put Windows NT on. Sucks. We see if this bitch will work. Okay, this computer has no uh, no USB drives on it, so I can't plug USB into it. It has no um, uh, internet jack like the. What the hell is it called? Um, local area connection area. Doesn't have that. Um, it only has a telephone jack on it, so I have to plug it into the phone jack itself. But this compact is really, really stubborn. Heck, if it doesn't work, like nothing works for it, then I'm gonna have to smash it. Sweet. Probably my smashing crew could come over and we can all have a smashingly fun time. You would just love to be smashed on the road, wouldn't you? But it's so rare, like, this computer is very rare. I have a compact sitting out in my friggin' hallway. Piece of shit, don't work. Let's just hope this one works. If it gives me a blue screen of death, I'll try a different CD drive and see if that will do anything. Like, if it will make a difference. Because I know it, it works, like it should work. This computer doesn't even tell me what it's compatible for, like it doesn't even tell me what's capable to run. I know it's capable to run Windows 95, 98, NT. I don't know if it can run NT, I'm pretty sure it could. I'm not guaranteeing it would. But I'm thinking it will. You give me a fucking blue screen death, I'm not gonna be happy. You bullshit. Blue screen. Oh, oh. No, no blue screen this time. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> She's gonna run. It's been such a long time. I miss using this computer. The story is, um, one of my friends gave it to me. Um, this was my first, my actual first computer I've ever owned. Like, I've never had a computer before, and this was the exact, like, this was the very, very first one I've ever gotten. And I've had it with me for so many years, and God, it, it just makes me very, like, it makes me so happy, and makes me want to cry at the same time, because... Well, my first computer that I've ever had, I'm so happy that I actually held on to it for that long. I've never actually held on to a computer this long before, and I'm pretty shocked about it. We'll be coming out with part two in a second. Because, well, time's almost up.